now let's go in and try to tighten up some of our geometry. I'm going to select this inner loop. We'll edge slice it. We'll give it a count of two. Symmetry. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to edge slice this outer edge. Say edge slice. Actually, before we do that, let's pick this edge here. And let's bevel it. And we'll give it a round level of about eight. Now, as you can see, that tapers down our edge like apples. Space bar to drop the tool. Okay. Now let's go in here. Let's make a few more cuts. Okay. Now, as you can see, our edges are doing a little better than they was. So let's bevel this interior here in just a tad like that. We'll loop slice the front like that around there. Drop the tool. And our back here isn't really sliced up much at all. So that might be some of our issues going on. So. Now we're starting to hold our shape a little bit better, as you can see. Let's tab in. Let's cut this way. We'll put them close to the edge. Now, as you can see, when I go into, and we're in polygon mode, I'm hit my tab key. We're holding my shape, and we have our nice round edge up here. Okay. So now. We need to color these sides white. And we're going to, this is not really a texturing video per se. This is for learning how to do basic modeling and doing our lighting setup. So we're going to start with our basic lighting setup. I'm not going to get too into it to the next video, but we're going to get started. Let's go to our model quad view and let's get our cube. Let's draw out a cube here. We'll make it rest on the bottom there. Let's look and see. We need to come up with it a little bit. Okay. Now let's draw it out. Like so. it up spacebar drop the tool go to polygon mode and let's delete this front face now I'm going to select these all these polygons and hit the F key to flip them now I can center this up like that And if you find you need it bigger or whatever, you can scale it. It's really up to you. Okay, there's that. Now, we may go in and get rid of this roof. Okay, but I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Now that we've got our scene set up with our box and surroundings, in our next video, we're going to go in and set up our scene.
Okay, guys? So, um, thank you for watching, and I can't wait to the next video so we can set up our studio. Later, guys.